11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful that out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema and um, what I want to get into today, all right, dealing with a comment board, all right, you had a, a woman on the comment board, all right, pretty much, you know, getting exposed by the word, and at the end of the day, when you study, you know, the psychological warfare that Esau Edom, you know, had. <clears throat> against the masses all right and mainly how it affected the tribes all right and mainly how it affected the women of the tribes what you notice is you have a lot of women like a strong the stronghold you know for for a woman you know that has to be torn down before they can fully you know come into the ministry and grow is that female empowerment you know mindset that feminist you know, women's equality, you know, their mindset of, you know, men oppress women and uh, women should be recognized on the, on another level, okay? And Esau, Edom, has spread their mindset like a plague. See, these different mindsets that plague the earth, okay? Those things are like a cancer, you know, because it spreads, you know, and it destroys. All right. And in every one, once something is a mindset, that means you try to apply it to everything. OK, someone that has a, a mindset of a hard worker, they apply that mindset to everything they do. You know, someone who has a mindset of a procrastinator, they will try to apply that mindset to everything that they do. OK. That bare minimal spirit, they'll try to plot it to every situation or endeavor that they're involved in. So you have women that know that they're Israelites, you know, that listen to videos, but they still have their women's empowerment and feminist mindset. So they try to apply it within the ministry. OK, and it's such a second nature to the masses of women that they don't even know that they're mind frame is based off a feminist doctrine okay because this is third fourth generation okay going on fifth generation of, of feminists okay and pretty much you have you know it, it started as a doctrine you know back in the 60s okay you had that woman uh feminine mystique all right that uh that book all right then you had that cia operative you know gloria steinman come out in the 60s you know and it began as an ideology you know then 
it became a movement and then it became a culture okay so everyone that's born when it becomes a culture it's a part of them and they don't even know it okay the women that are born into this feminist mindset and at least you know unless you really recognize that and denounce it okay you'll 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 stunt your spiritual growth now let's get that word empowerment okay just to get an understanding it says empowerment it says authority or power given to someone i thought i had that down All right, it says empowerment. It says authority or power given to do something. All right. And then when you go to the second definition, it says the process of becoming stronger and more confident, especially in controlling one's life and, and claiming one's rights. Now, let's look at the example that they have. It says political steps for the empowerment of women. Okay. Because going all the way back to the garden, the serpent pushed the mind frame on Eve that she was being held back by the restrictions of the Most High that was given to Adam. Okay? He came to her with what empowerment. If you if you eat of this fruit, okay, which is a philosophy of way, you will be like the Most High. So he came to the serpent, I mean, the serpent came to Eve with a with what? Women's empowerment. <laughs> okay. You will be like a God. Okay. Knowing good and evil. Okay. And that mindset has plagued the masses. Now, let's get to this definite, uh, to this uh, dialogue. Okay. So you have the sister Sarah L. Jack. And she makes a comment and she says, um, please delete the message and block Bella Kasik. Okay, now you brothers and sisters are familiar with you know when we do videos, all right, when we do videos that on the comment board you will have this almost on every video you know they'll put up you know these bots will put up you know different little um little um messages you know in Spanish and it be some BS you know it's it's a spam pretty much it's a bot. Okay, you know, which brothers and sisters are familiar with that. Now, sometimes I delete them, sometimes I don't, you know, because, you know, different videos, then all these different channels, so you're not going to delete, you know, you ain't going to get to delete every one of them. You know, it is what it is. But she says, please delete the message and block Bella Kasik. So she's speaking as if she's giving orders. So, and the reason why, you know, I said something to her because on the previous lesson, okay, now this was at camp, and you had the elder brother, um, Zahab, you know, mention that song, Break Every Chain, the gospel song, you know, making the point. So she comes on the video, and she says, you know, all praise and glory, you know, to your how about Shima Shai. It says, excellent lesson, brothers. The song is Tasha Cobb's there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And she says, we don't do idolatry or take on this spirit, but Yahweh Shai's name in English is Jesus. So when she said that, it was a while back, you know, I kind of winked at it because I, I know it's Eve and I know, okay, I, I'm saying it's the woman. Okay, she, you know, she come, probably coming out of the world. She still got that spirit like, you know, she's in some type of authority position. So I'm like, damn, so is she teaching us? Is she telling us something? We don't know that, you know, about G, the name Jesus being a, 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 a Greek transliteration, all right? A English transliteration of the Greek word, Iesus, you know? Like, what is she, is she trying to put us on? So I'm like, okay, I kind of winked at it. But then when she um put this one, Okay, a couple of days later when she said, please delete the message and block Bella Kasik. So I'm saying, I'm like, God damn. So we, we must be her employees. You know, she come in that black, you know, that nigga woman supervisor spirit at Popeye's or something, man. Like she's just going to give instructions. So I'm like, God damn. So 
I tell the sister, you know, I said, Shalom, sister, you know, fall back from trying to give instructions. You're out of order. So this is what she responds with. He said, Shalom, brother. I read what this person person posted. Okay. The translation button option is no longer available. So I don't think you're able to understand the words that were written. It's not a compliment it says it's not a compliment to your work. Don't be fooled by the emojis. It's words of confusion. And I think you should translate the message and decide. All right. Yourself. Whether you wish to remove it. So I'm like, God damn. So she's talking as if, you know, like I'm a little ass child. You know, like, God damn. I don't know how nothing works. Then she, this spirit of critiquing could see the nigga woman. Is so used to being in some type of authority figure over the Israelite man. She used to the Israelite man having a low self-esteem. She done brought it. Because, you know, niggas in the world don't, you know, niggas don't know nothing like that. Like, niggas don't know how to do shit. But, you know, you, you got a lot of niggas don't know how to do number roll blunts and, you know, talk about, you know, sports and, you know, simple as hell. Okay? So, Eve is used to being, used to talking in this condescending, you know, way where she's able to talk over Jake head and just, you know, like she going to big brain. She Eve is used to that. Okay. So she's talking in a way as if, you know, she's critiquing then as, as, as if, you know, like God damn. So even with this whole little Spanish thing with the translation, first of all, I don't need no goddamn Google translate translator. All right. We have a brother in the camp, Elder Bum Yum Yum, okay, who speaks fluent Spanish. And I had uh, copied and pasted a message in the group, in the uh, group camp, you know, when I first started, when we first started receiving these messages, and the brother translated for me, and then he was like, yeah, that's spam, okay? So she's speaking as if, goddamn, we just don't know how to do a goddamn thing, but that's how the nigga woman view Jake, man. It's incapable of anything, man. You know? But I'm like, it's a brother in the camp that speaks Spanish. And I, we been had this discussion. All right? So, I'm like, this is what I sent back to. I said, sister, this is not our first day on YouTube. I understand where you're coming from, but you're talking as if you're putting us on something we don't know. Now, watch, I told her, I said, just learn this silence, as the scriptures say, you're going to be all right, you know? Because, like I said, I understand that, you know, the woman is coming out of a society where she was born into a feminist culture. And it might be ways that she got that she don't know that she got. So, <clears throat> when I say this, and this is just me paraphrasing the scripture, and what happened when you bring the word out? <laughs> You know, what happened when scriptures come out? <laughs> yeah, God damn. When you go to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the divide and the son of the soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discerner of thoughts and the intents of the heart. See, when the words start coming out, then people true attentions start coming out, man. OK, when the scripture comes out, especially that they don't agree with and it cuts them. I just paraphrase it. So she, you know, just got nicked with a little, you know, with a little piece of the sword. OK. And let's see how she respond, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me see. So, she responds, and you know when the message is this long, all right, or uh, hurt, okay. And she and she says, "Uh, brother, with all due respect, I wasn't addressing you." Now, who else are you talking to? You own, okay, uh, uh, the channel. You own my channel. You know, this is a lighthouse for your house shot channel. 
but she says I wasn't addressing you. So I, you know, I'm confused that there, you know, it said, but since you wish to engage in conversation with me, which means she been waiting to say this shit here. It says I will recuperate, I will recipro reciprocate. And she using these words as if, you know, like you say, she going to big brain, she going to big brain me or something like, you know, like I'm just eight, nine years old, you know, <laughs> you know, I like, got damn. And it says, I don't feel it's appropriate to have confusion on the comment board. All right. Her emotions is the authority. What she feel. Okay. She's the supervisor of the camps now. Okay. She's the self-appointed, <laughs> okay, governor of the camps and the comment board. And what's appropriate. Okay. And it says, I don't think it's appropriate that brothers keep referencing their scripture. All right, that women should keep silent in churches. So she's tired of being told, shut the hell up. Okay. And it says, firstly, that was written at a time when believers gathered in person. And these camps and videos are online lessons. Okay. And there's no one, there's no one worse than the smart, dumb motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> and she thinks she deep. Okay, but hey, it is what it is, man. All right. It said, if it hadn't, now listen to this. If it hadn't been for a woman obeying the Lord and deceiving her husband, Jacob won't have the birthright. Damn. Damn. She said, if it hadn't been for a woman obeying the Lord and deceiving her husband, Jacob won't have the birthright. So we owe Rebecca everything. Pretty much. We so that pretty much she's saying we owe women everything. You see, and that's that Queen of Heaven worship. You know, that that women worship as well. Okay? And we're gonna debunk all this madness in the scriptures, man. Okay? It says, You brothers that keep quoting their scripture and do not follow the examples of Paul. And some are not following the teachings of Jesus, man. Just, a, you know, pretty much she's just a, a woman full of pride and thinks she know every goddamn thing. Now, let's get into the pre-sales, man. You know, and then we'll go to the rest of the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she threw, brother. You know, she, she threw, brother. You no know, GMS a moth. <laughs> yeah, I see through. You know, so when when you brothers see this sister here, man, you know, after this video, the only reason I say that, you know, was to do this lesson, but she will be blocked, man. She through. Okay. So let's get into the pre sales, man. All right. And put this out there too, man. We we not a count that's against women. Okay. We love women, man. We love the sisters that come, man. You know, we love to see sisters on the comment board learning, being edified, man. Okay? And, and we pray that you sisters are greatly rewarded, man. You know, with your with desires beyond what you can fathom, man. Okay? And we understand even our foremothers, man, like like Sarah, you know, Judith, uh uh, you know, uh uh uh, uh Rebecca. Okay? Now she did play a part. All right? She did her thing, okay? Hey, and, and, and that's greatly appreciated, man, but to go as far as saying if it wasn't, <laughs> come on, man, if it wasn't for Rebecca, come on, man. And Rebecca wouldn't even want that uh, 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 type of, uh, you know, praise, you know? So, of course, our four mothers put on, man, <laughs> all right? Uh, 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 when Egypt was telling our, you know, our four mothers to kill the, the Hebrews, Hebrew boys, they ain't listen to Pharaoh, man. So they went against the government, you know, for the sake of the men of their nation, man. You know, our four mothers, you had, did have some of our four mothers to put on, and we acknowledge that, man. Okay, like I say, we're not here, we're not at war, <laughs> you know, with women. All right, we just, we just attacking disorder, man. This is disorder. All right, and that's why scripture scripture say this in Proverbs chapter nine. All right, verse thirteen says, "A foolish woman is clamorous; she is simple and knoweth nothing." Man, okay, and you can put 
Sarah L. Jack, my boy, that precept, man, through. Now, she said that it wasn't for Rebecca. Well, according to Ephesians, what does the scripture say about the elect? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, it says, Blessed, okay, be the, the most high and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Masiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In Yahweh Shah, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame, all right, before him in love. Wait a minute, it said we were chosen before the foundation of the world. Okay, way before Rebecca. All right, and I say this is no, you know, shots at Rebecca, man. This is at this, this uh, uh, this Hebrew feminism spirit, man. Okay, <laughs> way before Rebecca made that play for Jacob, man. It was she was set up in the spirit to do that, man. Okay, and it says verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption. Of children by Yahweh Shah Masyak to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. It was all based on his will, man, that that was done. Okay? Now, when you go to Romans, what does it say in the book of Romans? This is Romans chapter 9. All right? Verse 8, it says, That is, well, I started, um, I started at six. It says, Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel, because there's an elect. So our people that couldn't get it, it ain't like that the will of the Most High wasn't being done, but he only wanted the elect to get it in this time frame. Okay? It said, Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called, because Abraham had more sons than Isaac. Okay? And it says, That is... They which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For it was said, it says, for this is a word of promise, at this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good, or evil you see that for the children being not yet born okay that it was already set up that jacob was gonna be chosen man okay for the children being not yet born neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of the most high according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth okay it was said unto her, wait a minute, who is the her? Rebecca, the elder shall serve the younger. So let's get this. It said it was said unto her. All right. So when you get the account in Genesis, but then it, they tell you that what, man, before the children did any good or evil, it was already set up, man. This was predestinated, man. Okay. No one has any room to glory because it's all the good pleasure and the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, I'm just thankful to be an Israelite, man. You know, for you know, we had no control over that, man. Who who's in the spiritual realm picking nations? What nation they want to be, man? It's all the good pleasure of your how about Shema was shot, man. Can't say well if, if what's called when they did this, if this person when they did that, that person had no control of what they did, man. Okay, now we go to Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled, struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I dust? And she went to inquire the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. Rebecca heard this before the children was born. Okay. Now, she's the mother. So do you not understand that she understood which child came out first? 
which will make them the elder. Okay? So when Jacob came out second, she knew that it was set up for Jacob to reign over Esau. The nation that would come out of Jacob would reign over the Edomites. Rebecca knew this from birth. Okay? So when it came time for Isaac to give the blessing unto the eldest, what did Rebecca do? She put a play together, man. Based on what she was told when she went to inquire of the Lord before the children was born, man. Okay, Rebecca playing her role, and she gonna be greatly rewarded for that, man. Okay, I say this is nothing against Rebecca. This is against that mind frame that tries to seep into the ministry, man. Okay, this is um Genesis twenty-seven and one. It says, and it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son. All right. And said unto him, my son. And he said unto him, behold, here I am. And he said, behold, now I'm old. I, I know not the day of my death. Now, therefore, take, I pray thee, the weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out into the field and take me some venison. And make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebecca heard, so Rebecca is listening to this man, and she's seeing how he's finna bless Esau. Okay? So what is Rebecca doing? She's understanding the dream that she had. Okay? She's understanding that that the vision that she had, man. I mean that uh, uh 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 that message that she got about the elder serving the younger. So what is she doing? She's putting the play together. To make what she was told in Genesis 25 come to pass, man. She played a part. The most I set her up to hear that. Just so she can set the play to get, play up for Jacob, man. But it was always set up for Jacob. What did the scripture say about Jacob, man? This is Exodus 4 and 22. It says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, All right, Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn, okay? Because before anything was made, guess what was made, man? Those first fruits, those 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 um first spirits, all right? Because Israel was the first nation spiritually created, okay? Then you had those first fruits of those nations of Israel. And let's prove that, man, because we was a family in the spiritual realm before we came into the earth, man, Okay? What did Yahweh Shai say? This is, uh, and you go to Proverbs, this is Solomon. You know, he's speaking in the spirit. It says, this is Proverbs 8 and 29. It says, when he gave the sea, his decree that the water should not pass his commandments. When he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him. It was just him and the heavenly father. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable parts of his earth and my delights were the sons of men. And this is before anything was created. Okay. The heavenly father brought forth Yahweh Shai. And then Yahweh Shai brought forth those first fruits. Okay. And through there, the first fruits created everything else, man. Okay. But Israel is the Lord's firstborn in the spirit. You see, Esau was the firstborn carnally. And it, and it played a lot played out like that just for the sake okay of the times that we in now man when good and evil would collapse a uh, uh, clash okay that struggle in the womb represent the struggle that will play out in the earth okay let's get hebrews 11 and um 20 this is hebrews 11 and 20 it says by faith isaac blessed jacob and esau concerning things to come Okay, so it was through Isaac, all right, that that blessing came. Rebecca played a part just like uh, uh, women play a vital part in nation building.
They play a very vital part. And the women is a, is a, is a, you know, there's nothing that can inspire a man more than women. That's why the, the scripture liken wisdom to what a woman. Okay. The same inspiration you have for a woman. You meet you a new woman you went to. She look good. Okay. You're going to be up a little earlier. All right. You're going to be doing more push ups. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be eating different. You're going to, you know, be shopping, getting clothes. You know, you're going to be on point <laughs> for that woman that you went to, man. All right. And that's why wisdom is likened up to that because that's how we're supposed to be, you know, invigorated when it comes to this wisdom, man. Okay. So this ain't no, this ain't, no, this, this not an anti woman. GMS is not an anti woman camp. Okay. But their philosophy of the serpent, their feminist mindset is a plague that destroys the women. Of our nation, man. Now, <laughs> let's go back here. So, you know, I told her pretty much. I'm like, God damn. So, I said, um, I said, sister, you have a very feminist mindset. You should examine yourself. Okay? And I sent her this in Sirach 44 and 1. You know, like 144. It said, let us now... Praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. <laughs> okay. Now listen. To, uh, what the little demon say, man? <laughs> he funny, man. <laughs> hey, so she say, oh, how sweet, brother. You think that applies to you? <laughs> so now she's, hey, she's in destruction mode. Now she's a full flaming dragon, man. You know, hey, you know, y'all remember on that movie, Don't Be a Menace, in South Central while drinking your gin juice in the hood. You know, Marlon Wayne had that little chick in the back of the poster truck. And she like, you know, I get a little crazy, you know, and she riding them. And then, you know, she mutated to a goddamn monster, man. Okay. And she's full blown dragon now, man. You think that applies to you? And she been had this in her heart, man, in her mind. All right, it just took that piece of precept to nickel just a little bit and it came spewing out. And it says, that scripture is talking about Moses and David, men of the Lord who were known for great works of the Lord displayed. So basically, we ain't shit. All right. <laughs> In layman's term, you niggas ain't shit. All right, you, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's beautiful, though, man, because our confidence don't come. You know, from what a woman thinks of us, man. We way beyond that, boo-boo. You know, that shit would have worked, you know, some years ago, man. That shit over with now, man. All right? <laughs> it's done now. All right? And even when... All right? What did Howard Shot say when they were trying... When they came at him, you know, with that woman empowerment. All right? This is uh, Luke 11 and 27. It says, And it came to pass... As he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the wound that bear thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. Okay, they were trying to empower Mary. Okay, but he said, Yeah, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. All right, he shut this shit down, man. Okay, yes, Mary was blessed. Okay, but she she didn't deserve this. This great pedestal as if she did something of herself. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, let's get that chapter, you know, that she was um uh that I had got there from. Now when you go to Sirach 44 and 1, it said, Let us now <coughs> praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. The Lord had wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning, meet for the per meet for the people, wise and eloquent are their instructions. Such found out musical tunes and recited verses, rich man furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations 
All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their time. There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported. And that's why we speak of Samson and Joseph and Daniel. Okay, because they hey, they have legacies, man. Those men created legacies, man. All right, our fathers, man. Okay, and this is a, this is a society where fathers are pretty much sitting on even fathers that you know are, are you know are, are um you know decent, man. They're doing you know hell of a jobs, man. You know that's looked over. Okay. Now it says, but these, uh, verse 9, this is the point, and some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them. Okay, so you have great men of our nation that we don't even know about, man. Okay, great men that have did, come on, the Bible, you think the Bible encapsulate all, the Bible doesn't encapsulate all the, the great men of the nation of Israel It's an abridgment You know It's the highlights Okay The main figures we need to know Okay But there are great men That, that, that we don't even know about Of Israel man <laughs> Okay And their acts man Alright But now In that same book Let's go down Now it gonna give you The rundown Alright And Rebecca is not included in this man now, when you go to Sirach 44 and, uh, and 19, it said, Abraham was a great father of many people, and glory was there none like unto him, who kept the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. When Abraham was proved by being um, willing to sacrifice Isaac, he was found faithful, man. Okay, Abraham was proved and the most I made a promise to him. But even all that was set up from the beginning. Okay. The glory goes to you. How about Shema Shai? All right. It's his good pleasure to do these things, man. All right. The most High doesn't owe anybody nothing. Okay. He's doing this for his good pleasure, man. Okay. It said, therefore, he assured him by an oath that he will bless the nations in his seed and that. He will multiply him as the dust of the earth. So before Rebecca was born, okay, <laughs> Abraham had received favor from the Most High, man. Okay, it says in that he will multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from river unto the utmost part of the land. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake the blessing of all men and the covenant. And made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an heritage and divided his portions among the twelve tribes that he part them, man. And when you go into it, it goes all the way from Noah and it goes all the way into it, man. It was already set up that the Lord is always gonna bless and choose Israel, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's tripping, man. You know. You know I get a little crazy. <laughs> My brother, she said, oh, bro, you think they're talking about you? Nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> oh, boy, you funny, man. Yeah, but that's the point, man. I got to take my poor ass back to work, you know? Clock back in, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He, he through, man. All right, but yeah, Lord will till next time, man. Pray that you brothers and you few sisters were edified. Till next time, I say shalom. Call him Yashallah, Baba, Baba, DTA soon. Uh -huh.